Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so for today, it's going to be Laura Lee Trump, Eric's wife. Laura Lee Trump, Eric's wife. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Okay, so here's what happened with Laura Lee Trump. So um, she was born uh, Lara Lee Unaska on October 12, 1982, and that makes her a Libra. Now, she was born in Wilmington, North Carolina to Robert Luke Unaska and Linda Ann Sykes. She has a younger brother, and uh, she attended high school also in North Carolina. I presume, uh, you know, regular high school, not private. Uh, approximately 2004 or maybe 2002, because it's a two-year degree, but she would have graduated from, and all this is wiki stuff, so it's not very accurate. She would have graduated from North Carolina State University, cum laude, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in communication. So two years degree in communication. She also studied at the French Culinary Institute in New York, but I don't know when. So in 2008, however, she began dating Eric Trump. And uh, so for 2012 to 2016, those four years, she was a story coordinator and producer for the TV news magazine Inside Edition. Okay, 2014, after six years of dating, she married Eric at Mar-a-Lago. And then 2016, during the presidential campaign, she spearheaded the Trump-Pence Women's Empowerment tour. Um, also, she was the Trump Tower liaison for Brad Parscale. Remember, he was the senior advisor for data and digital operations to 45. Um, and um, so she was a liaison for him to Trump Tower. And then after the election, she became 45's online producer and fundraiser. 2017, finally, after three years of marriage, their first child comes along and they named him Eric Luke. And then in 2019, two years after that, their daughter, Carolina um, Dorothy, uh, was born. Uh, also in 2019, she described Germany's accepting the refugees. You remember the European migrant crisis of 2015? So in 2019, she described uh, Germany's accepting refugees during that crisis as the downfall and one of the worst things to ever happen to Germany. Um, she is the producer and host of Trump Productions new Real News Update. Um, she was a senior consultant, again, to Brad Parscale, who himself was a senior advisor to 45 for digital and uh, data operations regarding the re-election campaign. And she was paid about 180000 a year through Parscale's private company, which is interesting. In 2021, uh, she joined uh, Fox News as a contributor. That $180,000 a year, that was like the pin figure she used to use to try to get people who were working in the White House and they were trying to get rid of them, uh, Omarosa, uh, Sean uh, Spicer, and a couple other ones. That $180,000 a year was like her, her target salary to offer these people to work on the re-election campaign that uh, Trump's re-election funds paid for. I guess to keep them quiet. Who knows? So this, these are the new Palladini tarot. And David Palladini, um, you know, he had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a, uh, a commission of doing uh, cards, and he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the tarot and decided to, uh, to make this new deck. And so um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them, are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors, and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I'd like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like and uh, maybe they'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy if you want to buy some more cards or your first cards or you know I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like so that's why I do this. New, tal new Palladini uh, Tarot. Okay, so this is the new Paladin Tarot, and we're going to see 
if Lara Trump, Eric's wife, has um, is going to give up her husband, Eric, um, to get a little shelter from herself because she's very involved in all that Trump campaign business. I mean, very involved. Uh, I don't know to what illegal extent, of course. How would I know? I'm just a retired guy uh, in Seattle reading tarot cards. But um, for some, uh, does she have, would she, will, does she have information to give up on Eric, which I'm sure she does, um, and will she? And will she uh, give up Eric? I kind of feel like theirs is a real marriage. I kind of feel like um, she and Eric kind of really have a real marriage going on, but they're both just not great people. So let's see how this is going to work out. So we'll get six cards uh, right away for this question. One, and then four later. And we'll divide the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll divide the question into two parts, like the one with uh, Eric's ex-wife, uh, Vanessa, um, as to uh, the first part of this will be, um, does she have information on, to give up on Eric? And then the second, four, the last four cards will be, will she? The signifier card for this, for Lara Lee Trump, Queen of Rods, she's got plans. Rods are plans, action, motion, and she has plans. Okay, so let's see what comes after that. Uh, I mean, she worked herself up from graduating high school in North Carolina to marrying a rich guy pretty quickly. Um, the challenge to that is the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is always, you know, trying to hold hold things steady, not let things slide. The basis of that reading then is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I'm not going to say this is truth in her regard. I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to say this is action. That she um, has been the one the woman who's going to make things happen. That sounds that sounds about right for, for Lara Lee. She has taken charge of her life once she got out of college with a two-year degree and has done some pretty cool stuff. In the past for this reading is the High Priestess. High Priestess is intuitive, um, having knowledge, and, and knowing when to use it. And I think that's who she's been. I just think this Lara Trump has been um, really on the path to make something of her life. And sadly, she chose this family to do it with. In the sky for this uh, reading is a Nine of Pentacles. So, so what she would shoot for is to have uh, all the riches, all the wealth uh, that one would want. And um, so that's where she's landed herself, as a matter of fact. So that's pretty good. Nine of Pentacles. Let's put that like that so we can see the name. And then the, but the question was, the question was, will, does she have information uh, that she could give up on on Eric. Uh, so let's see if 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 the if they leaned on her, if the prosecutors leaned on her for that, and the the higher effect. Oh yes. So this is the government, and I would say that the likely outcome of this is that she is going to be in bed with the government for some reason. So let's see. The last four cards of this are going to be right here. This is the self. This is Lara herself right now. What is she right now? She's still power rods you know she is going to get things done she's going to take an opportunity if it comes her way and make it move okay but she's in the environment of what now would she give him up it looks like let's see the she's in the environment of five of swords feeling uh jilted feeling betrayed mm -hmm. yep that sounds about right the hopes and the fears for this then would be ah new starts making things roll over and start again so she might save herself and get her life on a roll that would be her her hope and then the uh, final outcome is going to be the seven of, seven of rods this is really um you know managing all these all these issues uh with some um skill so i think she would i think she would i think if she if she has to uh she would yep so pretty interesting for Lara Lee Trump. She starts out as the, uh, the Queen of Rods, a woman with a plan, okay, uh, trying to hold on, you know, keep things steady. Uh, but um, she is shooting for, you know, Nine of Pentacles, which is really having everything that you need, uh, want, uh, accumulating everything you need to make your life perfect. Um, but um, she comes to the end of that road with the Hierophant. Okay, so I think she's going to be in bed with the Hierophant if she needs to be. Um, as as a self, she was the uh, Ace of Rods and the um, 
five of swords. So with a plan, uh, with a, I can't see, with a plan and feeling jilted, she's looking for new starts with this world card. And with this seven of rods, uh, she's skilled at, uh, at uh, working these, these plans, these obstacles. So I think she'll do it if she, if she, if she thinks she needs to. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.